everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my newest skincare routine which is actually kind of the first time I've ever had a skincare routine because I am super low maintenance when it comes to my skin. It was only until probably three years ago that I even started using face wash on a normal basis. So um, all of my products, well I would say 95% of my products are from one brand and then I have one other product that I use here and there, but it is my holy grail. I love it. I don't think I could live without it. And so I'm going to tell you all about that today. I would say kind of normal to combination skin and it's usually pretty dry in the t-zone area so like right here and sometimes like right here on my cheeks um, I don't really have greasy skin right now it does look a little bit shiny but I will say that since using these products it has given me so much more moisture in my skin which is much needed so my makeup goes on a lot smoother now and um, I don't have any like flaky patches so I also kind of struggle with acne on my chin hormonal acne um, I usually only get it on this side about a week or so before my period I've recently been getting it a little bit on this side too but I do have some makeup on but you can see I have some scarring and some congestion right here I'm actually getting a little bit of acne over top of my lip right now is kind of weird I don't know if it was something I ate or product I was using but um, really right here is the only place I ever get acne and I only get dry right here and everywhere else is kind of just whatever I would also say that I have dull skin and I have been struggling a little bit with dull texture and kind of like bumpiness especially on my forehead so that being said, um, these are some of the products I've been using to combat that and some products that I've been absolutely loving. This routine is what I do um, every night and every morning when I wake up. Um, I do wash my face with a Mario Badescu cleansing product and I will insert a picture of it here. I didn't bring it down because it's in the shower. So I always use it in the shower to wash my face. Actually, I use two different products. Um, but I've been using those for years and these new products is what I'm going to talk about now um, which is what I've changed recently which I've really seen a difference in. So these are all either a serum or a mask or an oil but they're all in the little serum droplet things. <laughs> so I consider them all serums and it's a nighttime and in um, a a morning and a nighttime routine. So all of the products I'm going to show you except for one are by The Ordinary and I discovered this brand I don't know maybe like a year two years ago I don't remember where I don't remember how I don't remember like what product I saw first but I think I probably just saw them on someone's Instagram and I just really love the packaging it's really simple um, kind of clinical looking and I I don't know I just really enjoy what they look like and so that intrigued me they're also very very affordable I don't have the prices on me for each of these products but when I talk about them I will put them to the side um, I bought let me see seven products from one website and I think that it was between I think it was just over $60 Maybe it was 70 um, with shipping and tax and everything. I don't think I was actually charged tax. So with shipping and everything, it was under $70. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself afterwards. Um, so these are comparable to Drunk Elephant from what I hear. I've never used Drunk Elephant. I do not like spending a lot of money on skin products. So this is why I tried out The Ordinary. Um, but I have heard that the Drunk Elephant products are pretty similar, but they're usually like 10 times the price. So every morning, I start off with three products. The first one is this one. And this is the, I'm going to try to say it, niacinamide, 
niacinamide, I'm gonna say. 10% plus zinc, 1%. And it says it's a high strength vitamin and mineral blemish formula. So um, this is the first product I use and I'll just do like a really, not a really small, but a, a moderate drop of this into my palm and then I'll work it on like the lower half, especially down here where I get the um, blemish scars and like over my lip because that's where it tends to get a little bit darker. And then if I have anything left over on my hand, I'll just like kind of work it up into my forehead. And then I kind of like <laughs> wave it out and then it dries pretty quickly, so you don't have to wait too long between using any of the next products. But the next one I use is Buffet. And I think this is one of their most popular products. I've heard a lot about it. There's tons of reviews on it. And this says it's a multi-technology peptide serum. And um, it actually doesn't say what's in it in the bottle or on the bottle, but it says on the box. This what I think it does is kind of just has a little bit of everything and to me it kind of works as my um, moisturizer. It is pretty moisturizing and I really like that about it and it, it kind of like smooths my face out. So I use a little bit more of this um, in my palm and I work it everywhere. I kind of start here and make sure it's on my forehead and then work it down to the bottom. And I don't know why I do that. I think that this to me is a little bit more moisturizing than the um, than the previous one I talked about. So I like to keep that up on my forehead a little bit and on my cheeks. And then finally I use the, um, I never know how to pronounce this, salicylic acid, 2% solution. And I only use this kind of as a spot treatment. I only put it on my chin and above my lip. And then if I have any other blemishes, so I have a little um, bump right here, which I think is actually a bug bite, but um, I use it as like a spot treatment. So I don't put it all over my hands. I just put a little bit on my finger and then rub it in. So that is my complete morning routine. Uh, I do not use a moisturizer over it. Um, I let it all dry completely. I usually do it like right when I wake up and brush my teeth. And then by the time I put my foundation on, it's completely dry. So only three products in the morning. All right, and then at nighttime, I start with the exact same process. So the first three products that I use in the morning, I use them again at nighttime, but I add in three more products that I use every night. First product I use at night after my first three lighter um, serums. The first one I use is the Gra Gran Active Retinoid 2% in squalane, squalane. Um, and this is much uh, thicker and oily than the other ones. The other ones I've, I'm assuming are kind of like water-based serums and these are more of like the oil-based. Um, so these go on thicker and definitely leave your skin oily and um, shiny. So it takes a little bit longer for them to dry, but I kind of just lay them over each other without letting them dry too much. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but uh, this Grand Active Retinoid, I think, is really helping my skin because you can feel if your skin needs a little more tender loving care, you can kind of feel it peeling away a little bit when you rub this in sometimes. And so I feel like that's really helping to kind of get off that dead skin. And then right after I use that, I use the 100% organic cold press rose hip seed oil. I was using a rose seed oil before and I loved it. I feel like Honestly, if I could suggest one product, it would probably be the rose oil. And that's any brand, because I was using a pretty cheap brand before, like even cheaper brand before that I got from TJ Maxx. And I thought that was kind of a miracle product. So if you only get one, which you should get more, but if you only get one, get the rose, rose seed oil. And then finally, the last product I use is this Azalake Acid Suspension. 10% and this says it's a multifunctional brightening formula and this is actually more of a cream or a lotion and I think it does brighten my skin a lot. Um, it makes it look a little bit smoother and brighter when I wake up but it definitely gives it more of a soft glow and makes my skin a little bit smoother which I love and this one I really only use like a tiny, I don't want to put it on right now, but I use a tiny tiny drop 
and of the little drop that I use I put um, a third on this cheek a third on this cheek and down and then whatever's left goes on the top so that's my morning and night routine like I said I use these every morning and every night I've had them for I want to say I've had them for about a month to a month and a half and I didn't start noticing the difference really until two to three weeks in. Um, so now that I've had it um, a month and a half, you can see the one I use every single day is about halfway gone. So not too bad. Like I said, you only use like a tiny drop. And other than my um, morning and nighttime routine products I use every day, I also bought a mask or a, a product that you only use once a week. And this is the AHA 30% plus BHA 2% peeling solution. And this says it's a 10 minute exfoliating facial with a pH of about 3.6. So this, yep, it's red. It comes out and it looks almost like a beet juice or blood or something. So it's really weird to put on. Um, and you only need a little bit. And what I do is I put it down here, up here, and then a little bit on my cheeks and then a little bit right here on the top of my eyebrows and down my nose a tiny bit. And I leave this on only for 10 minutes. It says do not go over 10 minutes and I have not yet. And although it says it's a peeling solution, I have never peeled from it. It's very gentle, but I do feel like the next morning when I wake up, there's new skin there or it's smoother or and it's definitely brighter. So like I said, I only use this once a week and I haven't used it probably in two weeks, um, but this is gonna last so long. I actually really love this product. So the other product that I have been using and I said earlier is my Holy Grail product is another face mask. This one you can use more than once a week. Sometimes I've used it maybe every other night um, and I found it right before my wedding last year and it was pretty amazing. It is the Peter Thomas Roth Charcoal Mud Mask. This is one of the sample sizes. You can buy like a, a packet of all of the sample sizes and this lasted me probably four to five months. So I will use this product when um, I have a bunch of congestion underneath my skin and I also use it as a spot treatment for acne that needs to uh, like come to head. Um, but I, like I said, I got a lot of congestion under my skin right here and I have a lot right now over my lip for some reason. So I'm definitely going to use this tonight. But if you use this um, at night on like a, a cystic acne or an acne that is painful and you feel like it's going to have a head soon that you can pop, this will make it extract everything that's inside and bring it up like within one night, maybe two nights. I also use it as a spot treatment overnight, so I'll just like dot it on my acne overnight. Um, usually when I wake up, it's wiped off and I don't see it anymore, but um, I do that to kind of dry it out and to get the pimple going and get it to, um, you know, all come out so that it goes away quicker. And this has been a lifesaver because I have cystic acne on my chin and it's painful for days until it um, pops. And so this just speeds it up so much and actually helps me to not pick at my acne because it makes it have a head so quickly that um, I'm not like picking at it all day. Like sometimes if I get a cystic acne, I like press on it to try to get it to go away. I know it's not good for your skin to touch your acne or any part of your skin, but I do it. And so this is an amazing product. I will always live by this. So I use this um, recently with my new routine. I haven't been getting very much acne, but when I do get my hormonal acne, I'll use it every other night until it goes away and if I just feel those congested bumps coming up. When I found the Ordinary products, I had no idea which ones to order. As you probably noticed, a lot of them have very like scientific clinical names and I had no idea what BHA suspension and grain active retinoid would do so online at a few different websites that carry these products they have regimen guides and how I chose which ones to get is I looked for the different things I struggle with which I struggle with texture irregular well I don't remember what it was classified textural irregularities I think and um 
acne scarring or dark spots. Um, those were the things that I wanted to treat the most, um, as well as a little bit of fine lines and wrinkles. So what you can do is you can go to the website and if you want to combat your acne, they'll have an example regimen guide for morning and evening of what you should be using. If you have any other like dark circles or puffiness, which I don't really have, they have products for that as well. I would like to see what else I can do for wrinkles because I have a little bit around my eyes. Um, but from the wrinkles that I had on my forehead and in between my eyebrows um, and a little bit on my crow's feet, the products I've been using actually have helped those, I think, quite a bit. Um, you can't tell anymore. I just got Botox last Friday, and so my wrinkles are looking pretty good right now. But I will say that before I got Botox, I felt like these products were actually working pretty well on those as well. So everything I've used, I think would be able to treat a bunch of different skin issues. Of course, it is more for drier, dehydrated skin. So if you have oily skin, I don't know if these products will work the same for you, but it's worth giving a shot since they are so affordable. If you have ever used The Ordinary products before, please let me know below what your favorite product is. If you've tried Buffet, which is kind of what everyone's tried, let me know if you suggest any of their other products. Let me know because these seven or so products that I have are only probably 25% of what they offer. And I do really want to try other products from them. I'm just trying to figure out what has worked, which everything has worked. So when I go to repurchase everything, I do want to pick up some more masks or maybe some more of the treatments. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them in a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.